Good morning and welcome to you all. Protocol has been established, and I would like to say on behalf of the City of Hamilton, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Bishop Bermuda for inviting me to participate in the significant occasion on the rebuilding of Beacon House. The meticulous renovations of Beacon House signifies a renewed commitment to serving the blind and visually impaired members of our community. It's not just about restoring a building, it's about restoring hope, dignity, and opportunities for those who rely on the vital services. I want to take this moment to commend Vision Bermuda for their unwavering, dedicated to this cause. The successful completion of this project has been a while, further set it back, but it's here now. It would project would be happy but possible without the incredible fundraising efforts and generation generous contribution from individuals, corporations, and organizations like the Hamilton Lions Club, Lions Club International Foundation. Your support is a testament to the compassion and solidarity within our community. With the increasing prevalence of diseases such as diabetes and hypertension, the need for specialized services tailored to the needs of the visual view has never been more impressive. By providing essential programs and services, Bishop Bermuda enables individuals with vision loss and lead to fulfilling and independent lives. From learning new skills to participate in social and physical attitudes, your dedication to reducing isolation and empowering those with vision loss is truly commendable. As we celebrate this meticulous milestone, let us also reflect on the remarkable journey of the Bermuda Society of the Blind, now Bishop Bermuda, from its <laughs> humble beginnings to the late 1940s to its evolution into the beacon of hope and support for the visually impaired community. Your legacy is an inspiration to us all. The transformation of Beacon House is a testament to our collective commitment to creating a more accessible and compassionate society you all will see once you have the tour of the facility. It's phenomenal. In closing, I urge everyone to continue supporting Vision Computer in their donation. Your donations, with big or small, will make a meaningful difference to the lives of those affected by Vision. Thank you once again to Vision Bermuda, its dedicated staff, volunteers, support us for your invaluable contributions to our community. Together, we ensure that everyone, regardless of their visual abilities, has the opportunity to strive. Thank you, and have a good day. Now the president of Vision Bermuda, Jessica Wagner. You may applaud. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Vision Bermuda, Kiara and I, as the co-presidents of Vision Bermuda, are honored to welcome you here today. Thank you so much for taking the time out of what I'm sure is a very busy weekend to join us here. We're so appreciative. So thank you very much. I'd like to start first and foremost by thanking all of our donors. To anybody who donated monetary resources, effort, or their time, we are so, so very appreciative. We cannot thank you enough, and we would not have been able to complete this beautiful renovation without your support. So our sincere thank you. Yeah. We'd also like to thank Patrick, who fearlessly led us in this endeavor. Thank you, Patrick. And we'd like to give a special thank you to our very own Dudley Cottingham. Dudley led the reopening committee that planned this wonderful event for us here today. He was a member of the building committee. He's an avid, hands-on board member. He's, uh, he's been with us through thick and thin, and uh, he's one of our best fundraisers and one of the most significant individual contributors as well. So Dudley, to you and your family, thank you so much. And finally, we would like to thank our members, our clients, and our staff. We so very much appreciate you trusting us throughout this process and for being patient with us. We know this has been a long time coming and we're so very excited to reopen Vision Bermuda's home and to, to step into the next stage of Vision Bermuda's services and programs. Thank you. 
Thank you. And with that, I'd like to welcome our very own Vision Rehabilitation Specialist, Teresa McMorty, who's here to tell us about what this means to us as a charity. How do I follow that? <laughs> Um, oh, thank you all so much. I feel a bit emotional because this has been a long time coming. I've been here nearly three years and this has been a dream and now it's open. Wow. And thank you. I'd just like to say thank you to all our donors and all the contractors that have helped us with all of this tirelessly. Anyway, I thought I would give you a quick run through of some of my favorite things within this building uh, that you may not um, realize is happening. So first of all, I'll start in the rehab office. Um, we are opening, as I understand it anyway, the first low vision clinic um, on Ireland, where you'll be able to come in if you have low vision and have um, an assessment of lighting and glare and um, uh, oh, eccentric viewing, you know, anything to enhance vision and reading. I'm really excited for that and we'll have a few things that you'll be able to buy from that as well. And looking at electronic equipment that assistive technology that can help you with that. I used to do that in people's homes, but now this is going to be so much better because I have my whole kit here uh, ready for you to come and have your assessments. And then we'll go into the IT room where we would not be without the wonderful Phyllis and all that she provides and supports people with, with IT. And she will continue running classes and we'll also um, be doing iPad training and um, iPhone and Android and all sorts of technology there. And we also will have some screen readers that will help people, particularly as they're trying to get back to work, um, being able to continue with their admin tasks with screen readers. Uh, I want to go then into these grounds here. I mean, these grounds um, are fantastic for teaching mobility, uh, the long cane, orientation and mobility. Beacon House actually couldn't be placed in a better position for this with the crossroads and the park and our wonderful tact tactile paving, which has been really well thought out. Um, we've got the lovely area to the side where we can do pre-cane skills and, oh my goodness, this area is fantastic for that. We then have a fantastic kitchen. I mean, the uh, kitchen with the color contrasts uh, between the white and the black and the uh, black and the white is just great for uh, people with different low vision needs within the kitchen. We're gonna be running specialized classes so that uh, people with sight loss can be more independent in the kitchen and have regained their confidence. I could go on, you see, I'm just thinking about time here. Um, the, other thing, the other thing I just want to say, which is really, really, really important, well, there's two more things, so I'm going to remember the first one that I think is important, is um, we're going to open up um, sessions for our young people, people that are at school, that are visually impaired or blind and have nowhere really to hang out. I'm going to be sorting out um, classes and camps and things for them as well, um, social things for them, gatherings. Um, you know, that sort of thing, but also our social area for our clients and members to be able to come, they can drop in, they can get to know one another better and I'm hoping that that will ease the thoughts, the, the feelings of isolation and loneliness because I know that when people get together that that really, um, that really matters. And like I say, I could go on because this centre is huge to us all, but I know, I know, I mean, to ask to, to stand down. And um, thank you all so much for coming. And I want to personally thank Amanda Marshall, because she was the one that had the vision to bring rehab into Bermuda. And I really value that on behalf of myself as a rehab and on behalf of clients. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that two-minute speech. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome the Honorable, today fervent, JP MP, Minister of Youth, Social Development, and Seniors. Yes. Good mor morning, everyone. <laughs> when I was driving up, I, look, I have this speech but I'm not going to read it today. <laughs> because this is so meaningful to me. I don't know if you all know that I am an occupational therapist by profession. 
and I had the opportunity uh, when I lived in the States to work for a senior, inclusive senior facility. And part of that facility, we had a low vision uh, center. And so I also had the opportunity to work with persons who were visually impaired and who had low vision. And so I had the opportunity to go into their homes and make their homes accessible for them. Teresa has already tried to recruit me to come and work for uh, Vision Bermuda, but then she said, no, you're better off where you are. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you again to the donors, all the people who've made this possible. Vision Bermuda has been around for a long time. And we're so very grateful and thankful for the services that they provide to many people in our community. I want to send a shout out hello to the Lions Club of Bermuda and also President uh, International of the Lions Club. Actually, I, I, I was jogging my memory and we met at the Special Olympics. Yes, we met at the Special Olympics. I'd just like to thank uh, Dudley as well for uh, inviting me as well as the president, co-president. <laughs> Well done to everyone. And so we know this, this has been a long road. It's been a long road for this renovation. I saw the picture in the paper yesterday and I said, oh my God, did they just move somewhere else? Because I saw the color blue and the new doors. And I said, no, <laughs> they did it. <laughs> we are home, home with Beacon House, Vision Bermuda. And I just want to personally uh, just say a big congratulations on behalf of the government of Bermuda uh, for all the work that anyone uh, who has received the services of Vision Bermuda. My, my stepfather did. He had uh, visual impairments many years ago. Uh, he, he's now deceased, but he also benefited from the services of Vision Bermuda. And so again, a big congratulations. Long time coming. How excited are we? Very. It's great to be here in celebration of the new opening today of Beacon House. Thank you. Bishop Dale. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my first association with Beacon House was uh, when I was a boy of nine, and I came here as a Cub Scout for a Christmas production and played my first and only ever piano solo. <laughs> but uh, I was aware at that time of uh, looking around the room and, and the, the struggle uh, that vision impairment brings into people's lives. And then when my dad, uh, about a decade ago, came down with macular degeneration, I can, I can tell you the benefits of a, such an institution as this and the access that, uh, that people will have to aids and equipment to enable them to live functioning lives and to give them that sense of dignity is, is incalculable. So I'm just so grateful uh, that we have the opportunity to be here to celebrate this uh, amazing milestone. I'm gonna, I've been asked to say a prayer of blessing and I understand that not everyone will be praying people, but that's okay. I hope you'll indulge me as I say a prayer and wherever you come from or whatever your thoughts are uh, in this moment, uh, say whatever seems appropriate to you, but uh, I do invite you to bow your heads as we pause to remember this amazing world that we live in and the gifts that we have that we take for granted so much and then to give thanks uh, for this amazing facility. So on this day, O oh Lord, we don't just celebrate the reopening of a building. We also want to celebrate the vision to serve and support all those experiencing vision, vision loss and impairment in Bermuda. We want to pray for all those who come here to use this facility, that they might find it to be a place of welcome, of learning, of encouragement, and growing together. That each may feel a great sense of belonging to this and the wider community. That each may be enabled to live full and productive lives. We want to pray for all those who serve here in whatever capacity. That we will grant to them patience, wisdom, kindness, skill, that they may obtain the best support, medical, functional, occupational, and emotional for their clients. We want to thank you today for all donors and supporters, staff and trainers for their generosity uh, and their empowerment to take us to this place and from here on in to provide the, all the services that they're hoping for that will bring uh, relief and, and help to others. In the faith of Jesus Christ and for the benefit of this community, we offer and rededicate Beacon House and the work and ministry of Vision Bermuda to the glory of God and the good of all people, especially those with visual impairments. Lord Jesus, in your days on earth, we remember your compassion to the blind and those who struggled to see. May that same compassion 
fill all who work and serve here and may be felt by all those whom they serve. Accept the gifts of generosity that enable this place to be rebuilt for every good work, for the love that inspired it. May this truly be a haven and a beacon for all as we look forward to that day when we shall all see with unveiled eyes, even as we are seen. Praying these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Now let's welcome um, ex-president of the uh, Lions Clubs International Foundation, Sir Douglas Alexander. Thank you, and good morning all. It's certainly an honor and a pleasure for me to be here as the vice chairman of our foundation of Lions Clubs International. I came to this island back in 1972, I'm guess telling my age now. Me and my late wife celebrated our honeymoon. We stayed at the uh, Princess Hotel in Hamilton, yes. And I was back, I guess about 11 or 12 years ago for the then district governor, uh, Lion Stephen Dean, for his club's 25th anniversary. But this is really special to be here this weekend with the reopening of Beacon House on the Vision Bermuda. Many of the Lions know back in 1925, Helen Keller visited our international convention and challenged Lions to become Knights of the Blind. That's almost 100 years ago. And Lions, that has been one of our causes ever since. We truly make a difference, and for our foundation to support the reopening of Beacon House. Now, I've heard many stories, and I've heard that there's been many setbacks, but we're here today. And it is open, and there's a beautiful facility. If you haven't had the opportunity to go inside and see it, please do before you leave. I was very impressed with the kitchen. Not only do they have two different colors, and that was explained, but the sink, they got a sink that goes up and down. You gotta see this, it's really, really nice. Technology has moved right along along with us. But this will provide to train people to be able to have their dignity, to stay in their homes, to live fruitful lives. That is what lions do every day of the year, 365 days a year around the world. And through our foundation, we're able to support things like this. And to be able to travel around and see the benefits of the donations that are given by corporations and individuals. That's what make this all possible, and we are part, really proud to be a part of this. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to support and to serve. That is what we do. Our motto is simply, we serve, and we look for that opportunity to make a difference in the lives of those less fortunate. So thank you again for having us here. Congratulations, and we know that a lot of people will be served and helped through the work that takes place here at Beacon House. Thank you very much. We, we also learn how to multitask because times things come up and happen that we need to do. We're, right now we're gonna recognize two people for their outstanding work in making this happen. Our founder, Melvin Jones, we have an award named after him. It's the Melvin Jones Fellowship which is a very high honor to receive from Lions International. The first one is going to Ian Gordon. Step over here so everybody can see. Okay. It's the mic man. saying thank you very much, much appreciated. <laughs> the next one goes to Patrick. Patrick Caden. All I was given earlier was Patrick.
Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>